So a lot of you guys know I have a modular from synthesizers.com. It's kind of a custom build, but it started out as a 22 space portable. And I've got several videos that explain that. Go check them out. So I had the idea that it would be kind of cool to take that 22 space modular and repopulate that box because I've just saved the box and had it sitting in a closet. So basically to get started, I would need the box, a power supply, a cable harness, the one module that allows the AC to come from the outside world and go into the inside world. So kind of today what we're talking about is power supplies. The boxes come in different sizes, like 11 space or 22 space. Uh, they have studio cabinets that are wood. They have portable cabinets that are covered in Tolex. That's the one we'll be using today. So if you're just going to get a small box, you could get a desktop power supply that would power that just fine. Um, they have several of those. As you get into bigger boxes, you can get the internal power supplies. The power supply that we're using today could power a 66 space box or pair of boxes. Uh, my box is 22 space, so it could literally power three of those. The beauty of all of this, of modular, is that you can build. You can start small, add on, add on, add on as time permits, as budget permits, or as need permits. Anyway, so what I want to do today is basically take the power supply I have mounted in the box and show you how that's done, hook up the cable harness, and put the module in that receives power from the outside world. Okay, so this is the 22 space box that I had left over, and we're gonna populate this. So the first thing we need is the power supply. And as you know, we talked about the different kind of power supplies. I'm gonna put an internal power supply in this box, so it looks like this. This power supply is capable of powering 66 modules, or 66 spaces. So basically, we're gonna set it in here, like that and we're gonna screw it in now since this box only has 22 spaces this power supply is got a lot of reserve it could handle another cabinet like this or two more actually well how would that work if it's built into this one I will show you so first thing is we bolt it in. There we go. Now we have a power supply mounted in a box. Okay, so now that we have our power supply mounted, we're gonna add the cable harness this goes between the power supply and all of our modules. So we're gonna run this down here. They provide a strain relief zip tie. So we're gonna put the cable harness in here. And you know, whenever you're building later on and you're trying to reach in between modules and fish one of these wires out and you're pulling on it, you don't wanna pull on the, the part that goes to the power supply itself. These wires are soldered on so we wanna Keep them from having motion. Okay, and we'll cut off this excess. Then the last thing will be the power module. So we're using the Q137, turn like that. And AC goes in here, power switch. And so basically this is here, and we're gonna connect that to power supply cable, like that. And then we're gonna take one of these DC wires and we're gonna connect it to this little plug. Now what that does is there, there is a set of status lights up here at the top plus 15, minus 15, and plus five. And so whenever you power it on, these light up if the power supply is functioning correctly. Um, that's always good to know that those are on. So this completes the power supply installation to this 22 space box. If you had additional boxes later on when you're expanding, you, you don't have to buy another power supply. This power supply, this version, 
uh, can power 66 spaces. This is only 22. You could add two more of these boxes and this power supply could handle it. They have a cable that comes out of this DC power jack and you would just go over to the next box and then come out of that and go over to the next box. So they have one of these that doesn't have the AC and the power supply, but it's got two of these. And so you can daisy chain them. So there it is. That's the installation of the power supply in our box. In subsequent videos, we will start putting modules in that box and build a synthesizer that is playable. Okay, so stay tuned.